Oftentimes, magic is really not magic, but good chemistry or brain rather than brawn. For example, do you think that I could take this can and rip it in half? Let's see. And that's easy because I sort of set it up first. Let's do it again. I have another can. It's empty. And if you look at it, it doesn't look like anything but an ordinary can. But if I squeeze it, I can rip it in half. Now, what did I do off camera? What I did was I took a letter opener and stuck inside here and scratched this area. And I did that because the aluminum can is coated with a plastic. You can see right here there's a plastic coating. If I scratch that plastic coating, then I expose the metal, the aluminum, so that it might be oxidized. And then I put in a basic solution, sodium hydroxide, and let it sit for about an hour. You can actually see in the bottom of this can some of the byproducts of that oxidation of the aluminum. By oxidizing the aluminum, it changed it from aluminum as a solid to aluminum ions, and they're in the solution, making this really weak. So it made it easy for me to rip it in half because mo the aluminum was very, very thin at that place. So knowledge is powerful.